Hi, this is Nell Tharp here, and today we're going to be working on tying with the left hand. Um, suturing is a complex skill set that uses both hands, and I typically recommend holding the needle holder in the right hand, regardless of your handedness, um, tissue forceps in the left hand. And this is because the needle holder is uh, designed for right-handed use, the directionality of the ratchet makes it easier to open and close in the right hand. So if we can learn to tie our knots with the left hand, then that means we don't have to put the needle holder down. That saves us time and decreases the risk for contamination. So we're gonna to move to um, the work screen and I will do a little demo for you. There we go. So I'm using a bright white suture. This is a uh, Gore-Tex suture. So not something we would typically use for perineal repair, but I wanted to have something that was uh, clearly visible. So I'm just gonna take a little stitch in here. I am not going to protect my needle for the simple reason that I am not putting my needle holder down at all. I'm going to be pulling my suture through until I have it just right. One note about how we start. If your short end goes underneath, we're gonna start with the palm up. If the short end goes on top, we'll start with the pointing. So um, it doesn't make any difference which throw you start with. My preference, just because this is how I learned um, and not because of any other reason, is to start like this. So I'm gonna start with picking my short end up with my palm down and I'm picking it up between my thumb and index finger. And I'm gonna demonstrate it very slowly so people can take their time and practice along. The long end is on top of the short end. I'm gonna stretch my fingers out straight, keeping this finger, my pointer finger bent. So other fingers straight, then flip my hand over. At this point, I'm gonna lay the long end right over my outstretched fingertips. And I'm gonna lift my index finger up to make room so that my middle finger can slide underneath the short end and then push it down until it's pinched between my middle and ring fingers. At that point, I'm gonna let go with my thumb and index finger. So it's the short end is just pinched between my middle and ring finger. I don't have a lot of tension on the suture. That is essential to make this easier. I'm now gonna flip my hand palm down and bring it slightly to the left and you can see this beautiful little half knot. I'm gonna slide my thumb over so I'm pinching the short end now between my middle finger and my thumb, and I'm going to point away and pull the suture gently till I have a nice half knot that is down on the tissue but not tight around the tissue. I'm then gonna take my pointer finger, which is outstretched, and I'm gonna put it against the short end and make a reverse four. So I'm just pushing it over again on top. So this was underneath before, this time I want it on top of the long end. And I'm going to keep my index finger and thumb and middle finger apart. So again, I have room to dip my finger in, catch the short end. I'm gonna bring it up through the triangle of that four until I have a little kind of a balloon on my finger. And then I'm gonna turn my hand palm up and slide my thumb and middle finger over to the balloon till my thumb is kissing it. Let go with the middle finger. Slide up toward the ceiling till I can put my fingers against it. And then I'm gonna switch directions. So I'm gonna take my long end away, my short end toward me, and that should shift this so you can see, it's a little hard to see on here that it's a nice half knot and I will tighten it down. And that puts me exactly in position to do the first throw of the knot again. So laying the long end across my middle and ring finger, bending the middle finger, 
pinching the suture between my middle and ring finger, turning my hand palm down, looking for that perfect half knot, swinging my thumb to pinch the suture between my thumb and middle finger, and then gently tighten the knot down, pointing away. Take my pointer finger, push the suture over till I have a, a triangle or a reverse four, as some people will say. Acutely bend that pointer finger, catch the short end, bring it up like a balloon through the V of the, the uh, reverse four, bring my thumb closer. And this is the part where people get confused. So I wanna just go up gently and put my fingers against it, keeping a, no tension, very light, and then reverse my hands. And there we see the half knot forming. There we go. All right, so that's four throws or two knots. Now, the other thing is that at this point, I can grab these, pick up my scissors with my left hand and cut the suture. So this is more efficient because now I'm ready to just go make my next stitch and I haven't put my um, needle holder down and I, I can protect my needle or not. That is um, your choice. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in uh, the comments. Um, or email me at uh, midwifeworkshops at gmail.com. This is Nell Tharp. It was a pleasure working with you.